energy vibration for the second quarter of the year for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is the second quarter the month is the months of April May and uh, April May and June okay I just saw something which <laughs> So um, for you Virgos, okay, I was like, oh my God, what is happening for you Virgos? But then I'm going to look at how the energy is going to build up. It is the energy vibration of fire. It is, um, this period is a period of movement. It's really a period of movement where we are going to be dealing with the energy of uh, new beginnings, new start, moving on, um, new journeys. A, um, a lot of these things are going to be happening in this period. Um, as I look at um, your energy vibration for this period you're having water twice water and the energy of the world so the last month June is going to be your best month June is going to be your best month for you Virgos it's going to be a month of um, um, connecting and looking inwards for inner guidance and wisdom it's connecting looking inwards for inner guidance and wisdom this is going to be what you're going to be focusing on the month of April May and June okay it's looking within for inner guidance and wisdom okay you're trying to find out who you are and what it is that uh, um, what part you should um, play on this planet and in your own movie and this is what you'll be looking um, and thinking about in the months April May and June June is going to be your best month um, don't forget that okay as we look at the month of April it is endings its transition its movement um, the energy of just uh, you know it is a time you're thinking and planning your way forward because you decided that there are endings coming in and you need to um, go with the flow of these energies that are coming in and move yourself forward um, and accept the transition because it's as if you have been in a position that you have been in for quite some time and now it is time for you to end this and move on um, it is good because I'm seeing that in the month of May and this is so weird so we're going to look at the month of May May is supposed to be one of the best month of this year May is supposed to be like one of those very positive month because it's, a, it's, it's really a lucky month the month of May in the year 2018 but we're having and um, you are having a water energy emotional energy we're going to look and see what emotion is it is a good emotion is it bad emotion is it you know emotional roller coaster of what because you have uh, an energy of the Empress and the energy of the Empress is the energy of your um, sun sign that is going to be supporting you and you are seeing all of this really happening and transpiring so we are going to look and see what exactly is happening in May because May is supposed to be um, a very promising month for you your best month is going to be um, in June where you have the energy of the world this is positive this energy of the world in June is just going to be so wonderful and so beautiful the energy of the world is that there's ending and new and positive beginnings that is going to come in and this is going to be extremely good so let's look and see what is it what is the transformation what is the ending that's coming in in the two last week of April and the beginning of um, June what is this and what is this transformation that is happening now Um, okay all right a lot of people are having this because um, whatever this transformation and this ending is that a lot of people a lot of you earth sign seems to be having um, this energy of the five of swords so let's see because this is the second time it comes up comes up also for the Taurus 
so we're asking the angels for the Virgos what is happening for the Virgos the two last week of April and the beginning and the two first week of May what is really happening because this energy um, here you have the night of sorts so obviously um, a lot of you earth signs are going to be dealing with the night of sorts because obviously there is a conflict and a situation because um, there is a judgment that is coming up for this night of swords whoever this night of sword is because there's a conflict uh, um, the five of swords is a conflict with the night of uh, um, the night of swords so um, we are going to look at this um, uh, much deeply so we're going to look at and and see what is um, happening the two last week of May and the two first week of uh, June because that is going to be much better for you the month of June is going to be much better so let's see what you're going out of May in into June you have the king of cups okay so you have the king of cups so now we're seeing a pattern that is going on for you Virgos because you have um, the Knight of Swords which is someone between the ages of 18 and um, 40 and then you have here the King of Cups and and, and this energy of the King of Cups um, so um, whatever is transpiring whatever the judgment that is coming in this judgment is coming in um, um, over the king of cups okay so who is this king of cups and what um, what has transpired in his life or your life to bring in this judgment what judgment what information is he going to bring in so we're going to look at that but first we're going to look and see what is going to be the outcome of this quarter for you guys what is going to be the outcomes of this quarter for you guys and you have the wheel of fortune thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune and this is just going to be good this is just going to be wonderful because um wonderful the wheel of fortune comes out as your outcome so I am very very happy for you guys with this wheel of fortune coming out as the outcome of your reading because I was getting like a little bit worried so I'm seeing that a lot of you earth sign or you know are really going to be having a situation where um, you are seeing that a certain sort of energy certain sort of a situation um, is coming to an end because um, whatever you know you have been thinking how you're going to be moving forward you're going you have been thinking how you are going to be moving forward okay and in the month of April there is a transition because you're thinking about how you're going to make this transition because um, there's an you need to bring an end to a situation and whatever you need to bring an end to a situation that you have dealt with with someone who is a um, who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra you have been dealing with this person for a very long time and it is someone that has um, really because um, this is um, either an, um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra you have been dealing with this person this person is between the ages of um, um, 25 and 40 this person is between the ages of 25 and 40 you have been dealing with this person for quite some time this person has been in your life this person can be between the age of 25 and 40 because I'm seeing someone who's 30 years and older you have been dealing with this person there, there, there is a conflict with this person and you took the time out this is going to be a period where you're going to take the time out to really think about what is going on to really put the puzzle um, together 
and by doing that what is going to transpire is that the energy of the hermit you took on the energy of the hermit in this quarter so you can figure out and bring an end to this knight of swords and whoever it doesn't have to be a man it can be a woman that some of you are dealing with and it is some of you are dealing with an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra there has been a long conflict that has been going on there has been a long conflicts going on and it is a karmatic situation but an end in the month of April it's coming to an end in the month of April because here you're seeing the debt um, and transformation to the situation so you're bringing this situation in April to an end it is um, a karmatic situation okay it is a karmatic situation it is something that has happened um, another lifetime ago um, as as you look forward in the month of May and see what is happening around May what is happening around May is that this conflict that has been happening with this um, hair sign person there's a judgment that is coming up and this judgment that is coming up has to do with the king of cups and we need to find out um, what does it has to do with and it has to do with someone who is a Pisces a judgment is coming up and it has to do with someone who is a Pisces cancer scorpion so let's look and see what is the death and transformation death and transformation of a judgment death and transformation of a judgment um, and this is going to be this death and transformation is that there is an ending you're working together to bring an ending to a situation that has been going on for a very very long time um, um, whatever um, failures that you have felt um, this is going to be over because the energy of the world is coming up and the energy of the world is as if there is where your treasure lie whatever this ending in whatever this transformation that is coming up um, this is going to show you that this transformation that you need to do that is where your treasure lies okay that is where you need to be that is the career that you need to um, take up that is um, where you need to be okay let's look at this transformation this um, with this whoever these ear people are and see what is coming in um, some of you and here you have the four of swords there is going to be finally rest and an end to this situation that has to do with the transformation of whoever this ear person is this Aquarius Gemini or um, Aquarius Gemini or um, Libra. Finally, there, you know there is a going to be a transition, and you are finally going to um, receive rest from this situation, which is good, which is what you're looking for. Um, at the ending of April, this is going to be happening that you finally, um, you know, receive this rest that you need. Um, so. But judgment and the king or the queen, and this is a water sign person over the ages of 40, of whatever the judgment call is, it's that is where your success, that is where your success is. So let's see what is happening. And, and there, there, the energy of the low energies whether it was the air person that was blocking you is now in the reverse form so you're taking some rest and whoever the blockage that was creating the blockage in your life is basically now um, this is finally over so um, this is good because let's see what is going to be your outcomes because the outcome that I'm seeing is that um, after it's, it's like after a battle that you have been going through with this um, um, Aquarius Gemini or Libra person the battle that you have been going through with you're gonna have rest and with this rest 
and the wheel of fortune is going to be bringing someone new in your life and it was a learning lesson it was a lesson that you need to learn whatever this was it was a lesson that you really really need to learn it was a lesson that you needed to learn and you are, have learned the lesson and you're going to be walking away from this lesson Wow um, so 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 um, this is really something because um, a lot of people because this this is as this judgment call is as if you were working together with this person who was an Aquarius a Gemini or um, a Libra and what has transpired is that um, this person has brought you in certain situation that you never really wanted to go in but it was a karmatic lesson because the wheel of fortune um, the wheel of fortune come with this so it is a karmatic lesson it was a karmatic lesson that you had to deal with this person and you went through in um, with this person it was a karmatic lesson that you had to work out from lifetimes and lifetime because it was complex it was complex you were um, battling going um, you know forward and backward with this person and battling with this person or um, some of you were working with this person in a lower energy vibration working against somebody else and now you're seeing that oh my gosh I shouldn't have done this you know what have I done because now I am in you know I'm so tired of this and now I have created karmas for myself because um, here is the energy of the devil in reverse so you know you felt as if you were a failure in the beginning you try to get back at someone by working together and this could be someone who was working with another family member to um, um, get someone to fall um, to bring someone else's down and now you're thinking oh my god what have I done because we're all in the problem now and I shouldn't have done that because I was the one who removed the information and this sort of a thing so I'm sorry this is going to be a lesson for a lot of people whatever that you have done and whatever that you have taken part in you are um, going to be um, really 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 um, really in some serious um, trouble and this is just a karmatic situation because I am seeing something here that is happening because the, you were working together with this person and you know you're so tired of this situation it's as if whoever this um, Aquarius Gemini or Libran person is has brought you in um, you know something because you have done something and now you're going to be in some serious serious problem because they're going to find out what you have done and you know it's like um, and you're having some regrets and whatever the regrets is because the energy of um, the ego is there you're having some regrets because you use your ego um, because of something against someone who is uh, um, a fish who is um, um, a Pisces cancer a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you use you know your your ego and your bows against that person and you know what is happening here is that it is a karmatic situation it's not as if um, it's gonna bring you um, um, like the wheel of fortune always bring you luck it's, it's not going to bring you luck because this is obviously a karmatic situation um, that has transpired so let's see if there are any more messages for this reading because obviously you need to find balance and it is um, again it's, it's showing that it's a karmatic situation because you have the energy of the six of cups and the organization okay so what this is saying is that whatever um, has transpired 
um, your whole energy vibration is here so that is good for you Virgos because the energy of temperance is here um, it is and it was an a, a something of a past life it was a soulmate a past life situation because here again you have the wheel of fortune so the situation that has transpired between you and these hair sign people and this water sign people it was a situation um, that is a karmatic situation this is a situation that has happened in lifetime and lifetime before and you came back to corrigere the situation and um, have you done that no because you have made it only worse because here is balance you need to have balance this is a karmatic situation with a group of people that has to be worked out so yeah um, sometimes these things do happen and this is obviously a karmatic situation that needs to be worked out and um, one of the strangest thing with this reading what I'm looking at um, there is going to be a lot of changes that is happening a lot of changing of the five of cups um, a lot of you have regrets that you have used your ego in the wrong way because here you are having the regrets regrets and um, it's regrets that you have, you, have, you, have, you know use your ego in the wrong way and using your ego in the wrong way is basically that you have uh, um, misuse your power and um, it is a karmatic lesson and the outcomes is the wheel of fortune which is karma it has nothing to do with um, the fortune or your luck it is a luck of um, what you have done so shall you um, reap you know so um, I'm seeing that some of you use your um, um, use your wit and your ego um, to break someone else's down and um, you know you are now coming in a situation um, a problematic situation okay all right let's move on and uh, let's see oh my god it's 22 minutes already okay we have passion the number seven energy we have passion um the number seven energy we have passion um uh, three and four is seven frequency of passion rec um, remind us um that beneath an ever intensive emotion lies the hidden gem of insight balance and calm it assists us in finding the balance within this intensity moving us from chaos to the current of its core where we can let it long lasting wisdom fill us up you guys have red and orange as your color and um, for this quarter red and orange as your color for this quarter and you need to focus on this because this is an activation card that is going to help you guys okay you also have the energies of Serasmus Bay I love Serasmus Bay sometimes I forget to call on him but you're going to need Serasmus Bay as I look at the, your readings um, it is a karmatic situation that you have to deal with and you're going to need Serasmus Bay um, in this time okay so we're going to read it together and it says Erasmus Bay was the keeper of the the white ascension flame in Atlantis and it is now the coin of the fourth race a lot of fourth race, a lot of fourth race coming up in balance in harmony for a lot of people especially in this quarter he is known as the Egyptian and the Egyptian because he worked with Archangel Metatron and orange is Archangel Metatron to um, superflesh the great pyramids um, the cosmic wisdom energy at the time of its uh, construction so you know with the great pyramids he was there in the time 
with Archangel Metatron, um, Serasmus Bay and Archangel Metatron. And it's good to call upon Serasmus Bay um, to bring in whenever you call upon Serasmus Bay because he has this blue light, he's the fourth ray, and um, call upon him for divine intervention and protection and ask him to place the white essential flame in your aura and around you and in your house and in your you know your bedroom especially when you're going to bed in drawing this card you are invited so each and every one of you um, um, Vir um yeah virgos are invited to stand within the white flame and feel its influence connecting with Sirasmus Bay and draw its energy of wisdom, cooperation, and dedication to you. Okay, so this is a good one to use in this quarter. E is the only master to work with the Seraphim angels, and they are beautiful angels. Call upon the Seraphim angels and ask them to always walk and stand in your aura and walk and work with you okay and they will shower you with blessings as you tune in to this ascension card okay so I walk with Serasmus Bay I walk with Serasmus Bay and I'm now inviting the Seraphimi angels to come and this is wonderful these are wonderful um, this is what you guys are really really going to need um, to deal with this um, this second quarter of the year 2018 okay so let's move on to the love reading because I've changed up the reading so let's see what is coming in for the ladies over the age let's see what is coming in for the, the ladies over the age of 40 New love is coming in for you, Virgos. New love is coming in for you, Virgos, ladies, over the age of 40. New love is coming in for you, ladies, over the age of 40. It's going to be wonderful. Um, you're going to be moving on to something and you're seeing a situation much clearer. So new love is coming in for some of you and some of you, you're leaving a situation behind. And you're seeing the truth of a situation so new love for some of you and some of you will be leaving a situation behind and, and seeing um, a situation for what it is so you know, some of you could be deciding to leave a relationship behind and you're just accepting the situation as how it is and moving on okay and some of you are going to be finding new love so this is going to be good so let's see what's happening to the man over 40 in love what's happening for the man over 40 in love what's happening to the man over 40 in love uh, the man over 40 in love okay the man over 40 with love relations there's a lot of lies a lot of lies and you are dealing with a there's a lot of lies and heartbreak for you men who are dealing with the Aries Leo or Sagittarius a lot of lies um, and heartbreak um, uh, with you men who are dealing with uh, the Aries Leo or Sagittarius a lot of lies and heartbreak a lot of lies and conflicts and uh, see um, they are in the middle so um, first they were lying these um, Aries Leo and uh, or um, Sagittarius they were lying first they were lying they're in the middle an art break is going to come for you so um, for the people who are working um, with um, or have relationships or uh, with the Aries Leo or Sagittarians there is going to be a lot of lies and um, stuff and art break that is coming in okay alrighty um, as we go forward as we go forward we are looking as we go forward we're looking and we're seeing 
for the people between the ages of 18 and um, 40, for the people between the ages of 18 and 40, what is the love for you, Virgos, for the Virgos? Love, love for the Virgos, for the people between the ages of 18 and 40. Love for you, Virgos. Okay. What is happening here is that you have uh, um, your wishes and dreams. For some people, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out. Okay, congratulations for this. If you were looking for a specific, specific partner, whether it is um, a twin flame or a soulmate, your, your wishes and dreams will be coming out. Um, here we are for some people who are connected with. Um, the Aquarians, the Gemini, or the Libra, um, there is um, you're seeing a situation for whatever it is. Um, um, you had you 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 were worried about the situation, and now you're no longer worried about the situation. You're leaving the situation because it's a situation where you realize that a lot of situation um, is so you know if you have a relationship with someone who's an um an aquarian a gemini or a libra you're going to walk away from the situation walk away from the situation this is not a healthy situation for you it's not an healthy situation for you walk away um the walk away from that relationship it is not very healthy for you I want to say namaste until next time and enjoy please like share these videos go back listen to your Sun Moon Horizon sign and the general readings I want to ask you to like shares and thumbs up and make sure everyone because this is a reading for April May and June together and then you're going to see these monthly readings coming out namaste until next time